the untrained eye, this shot may look fine, but the difference between this shot and this shot are clear. The color of a shot can go out of balance when the lighting has a high color temperature. This makes a shot look too yellow. To fix this, all you have to do is color balance. White balancing lets the camera know what true white is in your shot. This is important because many types of lightings produce high color temperatures. White balancing should be done whenever there is a significant change in the lighting of your shot. Black balancing fixes the color representation of the darker areas of a shot. These areas will be represented incorrectly, blend into each other, or appear to have no texture without a black balance. The waveform scope shows the luminance of a shot represented in a chart with a vertical range of negative 20 to 120. A signal that is true white shows up at the top of the chart with the value 100. True black shows up at the bottom with the value 0. An object in the shot's horizontal position in the chart is the same as it is in the shot. Its vertical position is dictated by its brightness. Her mask, which would show up around here, is actually shown at the top of the chart here because of its brightness. Conversely, the bottom of the curtains, which would show up around here, is actually shown down here because of how dark it is. To white balance, check the white signals that show up in the waveform. White signals should show up on the 100 line, so if the surface is shown as too far under or over that line, it must be adjusted. When black balancing, check the darkest signals showing up in the waveform. If the signal is too far below or above the zero line, it must also be adjusted. As with white balancing, if you still don't like the look of your shot, keep adjusting until the blacks stand out from each other, or you can see the details in them. Vector scopes provide a visual representation of chroma signals. This means it shows you the hues and saturation in your shot. These charts are always reliable, even when your eyes and your monitor are not. Movement around the outside of the circle shows change in hue. There are six hues that vector scopes focus on. Red, yellow, cyan, magenta, blue, and green. The signal will stretch in the direction of its corresponding color. Movement up and down within the circle shows changes in saturation. As the saturation of a hue goes up, the signal will stretch closer to the edge of the circle. The light signal should stretch between the red and yellow hues for any person's skin tone. If you're interested in learning more about TV production or want to produce your own show here at Access 21, come to one of our orientation sessions held at 7 p.m. on the second and fourth Tuesdays of each month. You can also go to our website or call for more info on how to get started.